to face to face, and today we're going to go to Palestine, Israel. We're going to talk about Tamini uh, Amini, and I'm with Abdin. Thank you very much for uh, and welcome to face to face. Thank you so much. So you wanted to talk about the situation in Palestine and uh, the young activists who have been arrested and jailed by the Israeli police. Yes, by the, the soldiers. By the soldiers, the military. Was... Yeah. This uh, relates to a young uh, woman. Mm -hmm. She uh, was born in uh, 2001 mm -hmm. and comes from a village called Nabi Saleh okay. in the West Bank, okay. which is under occupation. And she uh, has had a history of resistance in the West Bank, uh, confronting soldiers. Yeah, I saw photos with her when she was like 11. Exactly, no? exactly. When her, her brother was arrested uh -huh. and her mother was arrested mm -hmm. and uh, their house has been uh, raided at least 150 times. Oh, wow. Um, and it was, the house was scheduled for demolition. Mm -hmm. uh, but the whole family has been uh, engaged in demonstrations against the settlements and mm -hmm. against the denial of the rights of the Palestinians to Zeta. independence. Yeah. Um, she was uh, convicted in uh, December of uh, 2017 okay. for slapping a soldier mm -hmm. and spent uh, eight months in uh, prison because of that. Eight months? Eight months. And um, she has been released and she now has become a, um, a symbol of the Palestinian resistance yeah, to the Israeli occupation and uh, a symbol for the uh, striving for independence by the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. uh, she um, was initially denied uh, any permission to leave uh, the country, uh, the West Bank, the occupied territories, but just recently she was allowed to travel to France. Okay. The United States has denied her permission to come here for a speaking engagement, a tour. Uh -huh. uh, she was invited to give a uh, uh, lecture and to tour uh, on a, in 2016 on uh, a, an, an something called No Children Behind Bars, yeah. mm -hmm. because there are a number of children in Israeli uh, prisons uh, mm -hmm. now who are uh, for throwing stones yep, and yep. Uh, other kinds of uh, basically nonviolent resistance. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So um, uh, she, and, and, and I think her case is important because um, like the American journalist Ben Ehrenreich said, Palestinians have been portrayed in a very negative fashion. They've been uh, categorized as terrorists, Absolutely. et cetera. Mm -hmm. But here is this young woman. Mm -hmm. she's, she's, she's white. Her yeah, skin yeah. is yeah, white. Yeah. You know, she's blonde. She's, she's, she's blonde. Gorgeous. She, she yeah. wears Western clothes. Yeah. She's not wearing a hijab. Yeah. And, uh, and she uh, has now allowed many people in the world to see that yeah. these yeah. people are human beings yeah, and yeah. they're struggling for their freedom. Yeah. And that's why her case is so important. Yeah. And we want to keep uh, her alive mm -hmm. in terms of the uh, attention of the media and the mm -hmm. public, mm -hmm. because I think uh, the American people are starting to understand better and better what's going on there. We know now that um, Israel and its supporters had a huge, uh, played a huge role in the election of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. um, we know that uh, Breitbart, Andrew Breitbart, mm -hmm. uh, traveled to Israel and he came back to the United States and he established this Breitbart News mm -hmm. that did a great deal to create uh, animosity toward immigrants, uh, toward Muslims, toward uh, uh, liberals, etc. Mm -hmm. And that was something that helped to propel uh, Trump into the White to House. To create the condition. Yeah. And now, just only Two days ago, the New York Times ran on its front page about how much money uh, Sheldon Adelson of the uh, casino uh, empire yeah. has poured into the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. and, and essentially, uh, he has bought American foreign policy with regard to Israel and Palestine. Wow. 
They uh, uh, moved the embassy. They stopped the uh, uh, money going to the United Nations Refugee and Relief yeah, yeah. Works Agency. Yeah. And that is basically Israeli policy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that shows that uh, the influence that uh, this um, uh, organization organization and, and have, has had on the policies of this country. But even the White House removed the funding for any Palestinian aid in the last months. Exactly. Not only that, the hospitals. Yeah. They had $25 million for hospitals, Palestinian hospitals in mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Yeah. They've stopped that. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so, uh, so this is a, a, a terrible assault yeah, yeah. Uh, by this administration uh, against a, a uh, struggling uh, people who have been yeah. uh, uprooted from their homeland yeah, yeah. and who have been denied basic yeah. human rights. Yeah, yeah. Just today, the news is in Gaza. So, the the, the, uh, the income of Gaza as low by six percent. They had 50% of unemployment. The youth between 18 and 25 are 70% in unemployment. Seven zero. I, I understand that. It's, the it's, situation, it's, it's, in, in, situation in Gaza is, 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 is absolutely is, unbearable. It really is unbearable. And, and, and it is a, uh, a criminal. It's, it's criminal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a petition now before the uh, International uh, Criminal Court mm -hmm. that has been brought. And we are asking people to support that petition to have the mm -hmm. International Criminal Court mm -hmm. to uh, investigate this and to bring charges mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the criminal uh, activities that are being perpetrated against the Palestinians. Chomsky said that the whole Israel story, without the support of the U.S., will not exist. So it's mainly the U.S. Um, in some way manipulating the situation in the Middle East. Com completely, completely. And uh, this has been the case uh, for a long time. The Congress just passed a, uh, a bill uh, to fund Israel uh, $86 billion over the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. This is for a country where the standard of living is equal to that of many European countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There, and these countries do not get $86 billion uh, of aid. in aid in the yeah, United, from the United States. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the largest recipient yeah. of, of American AIDS. aid. Yeah. And um, so we have to ask ourselves, uh, uh, you know, what it is that and is causing this. And usually it's, it's military aid. So it's, it's even, I mean, it's not even food or, or it, you know, or whatever, but it's usually... It's, it's a big chunk of the health. It's military health, so it's really targeting to have some kind of conflict in some ways, and and so it's it's even worse than than that, just money. That, that's exactly what it is. It yeah. is a aid for a military assistance, yeah. and this military assistance is used to keep the occupation, yeah. and to and now we have seen that the Trump administration has uh, uh, rescinded the Iran agreement with the Iran on the nuclear uh, development in mm -hmm. Iran. Mm -hmm. That is another piece of uh, Israeli uh, yeah. policy that mm -hmm. uh, this administration mm -hmm. is pursuing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've just seen nothing but uh, complete uh, coordination between Israel and the Trump administration yeah. in the Middle East today. Yeah. Yeah. So what what the people can do, or what what is your your well? Uh, number your one, I think we have to change uh, the composition of our government. Yeah, we have to change the uh, uh, composition the the uh, uh, in in Congress. Well, elections are coming up, the yeah. midterm elections. Mm -hmm. We've got to make sure that the uh, both houses of the uh, Congress are no longer controlled by the Republicans. Mm -hmm. If you recall that during the Obama administration. Uh, the Congress invited Netanyahu to address yeah. uh, the Congress. It was the first time a foreign leader had been uh, allowed to come and address them, and he got nine standing ovations, all right? And here he was coming and doing this in the face of an administration that was trying to uh, promote some policy that would reduce conflict in the region. Mm -hmm.
And now this administration, of course, has completely uh, is completely destroying all of the, what was the done. The agreement we have been exactly. Mm -hmm. And this is now the United Nations is meeting now, and the main issue on the uh, agenda for the United States before the United Nations is Iran mm -hmm. the, the, to to try to uh, understand this. That there was a, a massacre recently in yeah. Iran yeah. Uh, in Abadan. Yeah. And um, th th they're tying this to uh, the United States mm -hmm. and to its allies in the Arab world. Yeah. So it's a very, very dangerous situation, mm -hmm. extremely dangerous yeah. situation. We've prosecuted uh, two wars over the last 16 years in Iraq and in Afghanistan. It's cost trillions of dollars. And, and now— thousand lives. I mean, even oh, absolutely. million lives, it's, it's in both sides. Absolutely. And the, the, and the tragedy in Yemen that's yeah. ongoing, yeah. all of these things uh, are happening. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we have to put an end to it. We've got to put an end to it. And the American people have to stop mm -hmm. this government mm -hmm. from pursuing policies that are destructive and killing people all over the world. Okay. Do you have any uh, website where people can go, or how do you see uh, the, the campaign? Well, there going? are a number of things. There's yeah. the, there's the um, campaign. Uh, 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 the U.S. campaign for Palestinian rights. Okay. They're going to be holding a convention very shortly in, in Minneapolis, and oh, I okay. suggest people to, to go, there. go, yeah, go yeah, on sure. and the uh, yeah. computer and mm -hmm. check out the uh, campaign, mm -hmm. the, the U.S. campaign yeah. for Palestinian rights. Okay. Uh, there's uh, another organization, the Arab American Institute, that's going to be holding a conference in Detroit and in Atlanta mm -hmm. uh, to challenge the uh, hate crimes that uh, are t occurring um, uh, on a uh, weekly and daily basis here in this country, mm -hmm. uh, directed against foreigners, mm -hmm. uh, against immigrants. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's that. There's another convention that's taking place in, in Anaheim, California next month by the Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee, which I had been the president of. Oh, wow. Uh, so uh, there are a number of things that people can do. They can reach out to people who are, there are a lot of activists okay. that are taking, doing a lot of work on okay. this subject, and uh, you can go to the computer yeah. okay. and find this information. Okay, so you send me the list, I will add it to the to this show, and then people can get the information. I'll be happy to do that. And then thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, please, thank you you're always me. welcome. Um, and that was Face to Face, and hope to uh, see you very soon. And please keep watching your news on Presenza.com. Thank you.